Welcome to How to Cook That. I'm Anne Reardon. And in the words of my friend that I gave these to, they are crazy delish to die for and her favourite dessert of all time ever. So for all of you who have been requesting salted caramel macarons, here's how I make them. To make your shells, follow the easy macaron recipe video. I'll link to that in the description below this video. And if you've never made macarons before, then I suggest you also watch the FAQ video. You can colour your shells slightly browner using your gel colours and then pipe them onto your non-stick baking paper and slide them onto a baking tray. Bang it firmly on the bench a few times, turn the tray and bang it on the other side as well. Take a little bit of your raw sugar and sprinkle it on the top of each macaron and in the oven when it bakes that kind of looks a bit caramelly on top. You don't need to leave this recipe to sit on the bench, you can put them straight into the oven. Now oven temperature is really important with macarons, so if your oven is dodgy, buy an oven thermometer and check that the temperature inside is exactly 150 degrees centigrade. And don't open the oven while they're baking or you're going to make the oven temperature change. Take them out of the oven once they're done and let them cool and then gently peel them off the paper and pair similar sized shells together. Warm a small amount of your dulce de leche that we made in an episode a couple of weeks ago and drip it onto the centre of the shells. Then leave that to cool completely. While that's cooling, place a half a cup of your dulce de leche into a mixing bowl with a tiny bit of flaked sea salt. If you want, you can add more for a stronger salty taste, but I like it to be a subtle salty flavour. Add half a cup of softened butter and beat it until it comes together nicely. Place that in a Ziploc bag and put a small blob into the centre of each macaron. Put the lids on top and push down gently to straighten them up. Then if you're trying to eat well, I suggest you have one and give the rest away before you eat them all. They're that good. Thanks to all of you who support me by watching these videos, commenting and sharing them with your friends. I really do appreciate all the good stuff you do and I'll be back next week. 